is Brianna and today's video is going to be a like talk through tutorial kind of thing for this look right here. I was thinking of doing kind of like another makeup video for this week's video and then I got some new makeup products so I thought that'd be a good opportunity to try some of them out and also I've just been wearing this eye look a lot lately so I wanted to kind of show you guys. This whole look is actually a lot of what I wore in my last video for my ponytail video that I'll have linked below. This is basically the same thing except with just a little bit different of a lip color so if you wanted to know how to do that here it is so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm just gonna jump in okay so first starting off with foundation I am using the Revlon color stay foundation this is one of the new things I just got I've used this before in the past and it's always been like one of my favorite foundations and for some reason I always buy different foundations because I think they're gonna be better and then I realize I hate all foundation except this one so that's an exaggeration, but I just love this foundation. It's like a nice tried and true. Except this one, I can't remember what color I used to be because I bought it so long ago. So this one's like kind of pink for my skin tone, but we're just going to make it work. So I'm just putting this all over my face and then I'm going to blend it in with this brush. I'm basically just going to pat it in and then kind of swirl it down. Alright, then I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm using this NYX, what's this called? NYX Eyebrow Pencil Crayon thing that I got, which is also new, that I'm still deciding if I like. Once it got down kind of a base, I'm going to use this little end to brush it out a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit. Which I've heard a lot of people talk about and I've just never used, so I'm going to use the gel first. Then I'm going to go over with the powder that they give you, just to set everything. Alright, so then very last I'm going to go in with this spoolie on this eyebrow brush, just to kind of comb everything through. Alright, now that our eyebrows are nice and crazy and dark looking, I'm going to go in and conceal under my eyes and stiff. And for that, I'm going to use this Glamouflage Concealer by Hard Candy. And I'm going to put that underneath my eyes, down my nose, my forehead, right above my lip, on my chin, and around my mouth. Blend that in with the sponge. I like to use concealer also as a way to like to highlight just for like an everyday kind of use because it just cuts out a step. Alright and then to set all of that I'm going to use the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I'm just going to set around my nose and under my eyes and my forehead. Now onto the eyes I'm going to zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. First I'm going to prime my eyelids with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Then I'm going to go in with this Maybelline Color Tattoo eyeshadow in this color, which is like this pomegranate kind of color. It's called Pomegranate Punk. And we're going to take that and put that all over our eyelid. I'm not going to worry if this is too messy because we're going to blend it all out anyway. I'm also going to use the same brush in the same color and just messily kind of run this on my lower lash line as well. Then I'm going to take more of like a blending brush and go in with the same thing and just blend it into my crease. And I'm going to use this little palette from e.l.f. which is called like Golden Goddess I think, the little thing rubbed off. But yeah. And I'm going to take these two middle colors here and actually just like blend them together on my brush and put that right on top. And I love it because putting it on top of this reddish kind of color kind of mixes through with the goldish colors and almost makes like this rose gold kind of looking hue, which I think is beautiful. So I'm just going to do that on my whole eyelid on both eyes. I just love how that looks. I think it's so pretty. 
And then I'm going to do the same thing on the lower lash line as well. Then going into my crease, I'm going to take just mostly this kind of coppery color and blend that in over the rest of that Maybelline color to the pomegranate punk color. And then we're going to go into the darkest color and concentrate that on the outer corner. Then I'm also going to take that dark color and put that on my lower lash line as well on the outer kind of corner. Then I'm going to go back in with a clean blending brush and kind of just diffuse all that, blending it out even more. Then for highlighting, we're going to go back in with the lightest color and blend that underneath our eyebrow, right here on our brow bone. And I'm also doing my inner corner as well. Then I'm going to go in with that darkest color again. Just smudge that on my upper lash line. Then we're going to go in with mascara. I'm using the Miss Manga Voluminous one. Alright, and that's for the eyes. I zoomed you back out so we can do the face. I'm first going to go in with bronzer. And I'm using this NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Powder in Sunny. And I'm just using that on a big brush and I'm just going to kind of just slightly bronze up my face. I'm not doing any like major contouring or anything. Then for blush, I'm going in with Luminoso from Milani. Then for highlighter, I'm actually going to go in with a little brush like this and the two, the gold and the champagne kind of color in this palette. And I'm actually just going to mix those together kind of. And I'm going like, to tap it off so it's not like super heavy with product and just kind of dust that right on top of my cheekbones. Then for our lips, I'm going to go in with this lipstick by Maybelline that is called Craving Coral. And this is a matte formula and it's super, super pretty and vivid. And you could totally leave this like this if you wanted to, but I kind of want to tone it down just a little bit and make it a little more glossy. So I'm going to go over it with this L'Oreal thing. I don't, don't know what these are called. It's one of those like lip glosses that like turn into a stain slash lipstick. And this is in the color Coral Tattoo. Put that right on top. And then that's it for the whole look. I've been really like just wearing colors like this, just very pretty neutral eyes and then bright lips. I think they're good for summer and I've just been really gravitating towards this kind of look lately. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and leave a comment below of any video ideas that you guys want to see so I can make those for you. Also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you know when I make new videos. I make videos every week and also make sure to follow me on all my social media sites. They'll all be linked below and I think that's it. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys next week. Bye.